So for those who never have read any of the Church Fathers, what would you say, like, what would be a good starting point? Um, or maybe, like, is there a favorite, like, oh, this is a good one to kind of, like, get started with? Oh, that's, gosh, that's a fantastic question. Um, you know, as far as, as far as a short, like, hey, give uh, kind of one thing to go and read. Um, a lot of people that I've, I, I, I remember, uh, I was, I was doing, I was doing a reading group with some, some friends, uh, uh, on the Epistle of Diognetus. Uh, this was, uh, sorry, our Epistle to Diognetus. This was maybe five years ago. And uh, I had uh, one, one of my friends, my friend, my friend Judah, we, we were there talking and he goes and he, as soon as we're done, he goes and he says, I, how is it that I've never read this before? Like, I feel like there's like some sort of worldwide conspiracy that's been going on <laughs> from keeping me from reading this. Cause this is literally one of the coolest things I've ever seen in my life. And I had no idea that existed. I've never heard of this from anyone until you, like we sat down and read this right now. How in the world does this happen? Um, and, uh, I mean, I, you know, I feel that way with, with a lot, of, a lot of these, um, and, but, you know, the Epistle of Diagnes is, is, is a great one to, to go into, to start with. I have, I have a, a chapter, you know, in the, in the, in the book on that as well, which gave you some, some introduction, kind of background information on, you know, what it is and where, where it comes, comes from. But that's a great one. Just in that it's quite short. You can read it in, you know, 45 minutes, something, something like that. Um, so really, really accessible. Um. You know, beyond that, I, I don't think that there's anything wrong with just starting at the beginning. So if you, if you get, uh, you know, Michael Holmes has the, the great, uh, the great, uh, Apostolic Fathers edition, uh, which I believe begins with the, with the Didache and then kind of goes on from there into first and second Clement and into the, you know, the, the epistles of Ignatius of Antioch. Um, those are, those are all fantastic. They're, they're just so, they're so good. Um, uh, for for me, I the the two figures from the second century that have probably had the biggest influence on me are uh, uh, so Justin Martyr and then Irenaeus. Uh, they're the ones who you know it was it was when I read Justin Martyr's first apology, uh, which is he goes it was around 150 AD. He writes to the emperor and the senate saying, "Hey, um, you guys probably want to stop killing us. If you don't stop killing us, it's okay because we're sort of taken care of, but." you guys aren't going to be okay. <laughs> and so this is in your own interest. Uh, and he goes, and he kind of, um, he, he kind of quotes uh, uh, the, the line from Soc Socrates where he goes and says, and as for you, you can kill, but you cannot hurt us, uh, which is pretty awesome. And, 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 and it happens. I mean, he gets, he gets killed. He's, you know, he's, he's martyr for, for, for the faith. Uh, I, Justin's writings are just, they're, uh, they're indescribably rich. Um, you know, his first and second apologies that he goes and writes. And then uh, his, his dialogue with Trifo, which is a really fascinating um, back and forth discussion that he has uh, with, a, with a Jewish guy, uh, Tri Trifo. And he, it's, as far as, you know, the early distinctions between Judaism and Christianity and all the things that they actually share in common, but then where they go and, the, you know, what the points of divergence actually are. Uh, really, really fascinating read. Um, and then, and then Irenaeus. So, uh, you know, against heresies, uh, is, uh, it's just a life changing read. Uh, it's, it's, it's in five books. The first two books are mostly talking about heresies oh. and most of them are, they're, they're so, they're so wild that they're almost completely unintelligible to us. <laughs> like, how is it that anybody could possibly believe these things? And so if you, you can kind of open the first book and sort of skim a little bit of that. And then if you just jump to, to book three, and then, you know, read books three, four, and five of Against Heresies. Um, there is, I, I mean, you can spend your whole lifetime reading those along with scripture and just never fully exhaust, you know, all the riches that's there. Because in, in Irenaeus, you kind of have all of the kind of the, sort of the, all the apostolic tradition from this, this early period, you know, summed up and synthesized in one place. And it's... Wow. Again, it's, it's, I, I can't, <laughs> I almost don't have words to tell you how good it is. It's, wow. it's just unreal. So. All right. Well, I'm taking notes because now I got a book list. Yeah. Um, <laughs> gee whiz. That, that sounds fantastic. Yeah. And, um, I kind of feel like what your friend Judas said, like about, like, oh my gosh, I had no idea. Like there's all this rich text that I never even considered reading. Yeah. Before. Oh, and that's, that's, that was exactly how I felt as well. I was, I remember I, I read through, this was in the summer of 2011. Uh, it was, it was so after I had written this, this, this first, first paper on this, which I, I wrote in, in the winter of 2011. 
uh, I went and I read through kind of all the, you know, all the early church fathers up to, up to, up to Justin. So up to about 150. And I just remember going through this and thinking like, how did I never know this stuff? This is incredible. <laughs> this is like, and, and, and you know, what's interesting is. And I love how you mentioned like the disciple of John Polycarp, disciple of Polycarp, Irenaeus, like that lineage, like there's something there, like they're passing on insights on scripture yeah. that the only way you're going to capture it is by actually going back to read them. Um, but for those who, like myself, who've never like sat there and like got a book by Irenaeus or looked at any yeah. of the church fathers, like, yeah. are there, like, do you have any counsel as far as like, like the pros and cons of reading the church fathers, like things to yeah. watch out for? Totally. So some, some of the cons are um, you might find them to be too inspirational um you uh if you have if you have sins that you've been hanging on to you might be convicted and have to go and give give them up um if uh if you've sort of gotten used to having a kind of lackluster mediocre christianity and we're hoping to sort of continue on that that trajectory sort of from here on out uh you that your life will be made a lot more uncomfortable um those are the main cons i can i can think of um nice. those are uh those are those are, those are pro pro probably it uh on the plus side um at least for me i can say uh the uh it, the, the reading the church fathers they they destroy my lackluster christianity uh they uh in, in a positive way not that you know that not that they're they're coming at you mean wielding a sword and trying to behead me or anything but just in the sense of like they're they, they, the, the way that you see, um, the, you know, the, the full commitment to the faith that's there. And then, I, and then really, I mean, the joy that, that, that goes and produces, which is just, you know, effusive and jumps off, off the text. Um, it's, uh, I, I, I just, I, I think it, I think it's, it's one of those things where I, I don't think, I can't think of any reason why a, a Christian of any kind shouldn't go and and read the church fathers unless they're just not really interested in being a christian <laughs> unless they only kind of what you know want to be a christian as a mean towards some 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 other end um i i, I think that they're, they're just fantastic and even, and even saying like hey you know re 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 read the church fathers a lot of folks can you know, think okay well i'll go and i'll read this 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 book on the church fathers and that's that's fine. I mean, there's a sense in which my book is kind of like a, a you know, a book on the church fathers are trying to go, you know, summarize a lot of what they're going to say, say in this area, this particular area. So, um, you know, if nobody, nobody read uh, any, any books written on, you know, on the church fathers, then nobody would ever buy buy my book. <laughs> so, uh, so I don't want to, uh, you know, I don't, I don't want to be too, too, too harsh here, but gosh, uh, I, I, I can't go and commend enough just going and starting to read. You know, it's in, 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 uh, you know, we in, in English, we have the advantage of, you know, we have the, the old Antonicene Fathers series that goes back to, you know, the late 19th century that was all translated. Some, some of those translations are, um, you, you can say that they're uh, kind of long in the tooth as far as, uh, you know, as far as just the way the English language has changed. But overall, I mean, they're, they're great. And you can literally just start at the beginning of the Church Fathers. And just just read through. It's all it's all free. It's all open source online. I mean, you can grab your phone and type in you know Church Fathers uh, and and just start from the start from the beginning there and literally read uh, you know on on your phone in the comfort of your home the uh, all all the testimony that we have from the time you know of the of the apostles onwards. And so I mean, for for me, I I can't really overstate how how challenging, how life giving, uh, you know, inspirational, you know, I've I've my my encounter, you know, with 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 them has been. Um, so um, so anyway, watch out for those things. Uh, be really careful. <laughs> <laughs> be really careful if you if you do have if you do have a bunch of secret sins that you that you have been hanging on to. Um, you might want to turn off this podcast and just sort of forget. Forget we had this conversation. Um, yeah, go. I'm, I'm sure there's works of modern theology that you can find will be very compatible with all your secret sins. So stick stick with those. <laughs> well, you've uh, you've encouraged me to like dig in. What? Um, so for those who never have read any of the Church Fathers, what would you say? Like, what would be a good starting point? Um, or maybe like, is there a favorite? Like, oh, this is a good one to kind of like get started with. 
Hey, thank you so much for checking out this video clip from the Delgado Podcast. To get more videos like this, simply subscribe here on YouTube. You can also download the full episode of each show on iTunes, Spotify, Google Play, or your favorite podcast player. Take care.